moving things around us. We see so many things around us. Some move on their own, while others need something to move them. For example, you can move on your own, and so can a cat or a butterfly. But a desk and a chair move only when you push or pull them. Living things can move on their own, while non-living things need to be pushed or pulled. Have you observed earthworms after a spell of rain? If you mark its journey from one point of start, you will see that it covers a certain distance in an interval of a few seconds. Observe the movement of an ant in the similar manner. The ant moves faster, but here again it moves from one point to the next in a few seconds. So you observe for sure that motion is some kind of a change in the position of an object with time. Observe movement in some non-living things around your house, like the fan or the hands in a clock. How do they move? Here again you will find that movement happens after a fixed interval. Types of motion There are different types of motion that make movement possible in different objects. You must have observed a moving train or a car. You must also have observed soldiers marching in a parade. What is the similarity that you find in their movement? A train moves on a lined track. Soldiers parade in a line. And a car moves in a line on the road. So, in all of these examples, we see that objects move along a straight line. This type of motion is called a rectilinear motion. Observe the blades of a rotating fan and the movements of the hands on a clock. You will see that they move in a circle. This kind of motion is called a circular motion. Mark a point anywhere on the blades of the fan or on the hands of a clock. You will see that the distance of this point from the center of the fan or the clock will remain the same as they rotate. Sometimes an object repeats its motion after an interval. This kind of motion is called periodic motion. Take a neck chain with a heavy pendant and let the pendant hang. Now pull the pendant to one side and release. The pendant will move to and fro for a long time. This is a pendulum. The motion of a pendulum, a child on a swing, a rocking chair and even waves on the beach. These are all examples of periodic motion where motion is repeated after regular intervals. Sometimes objects can do multiple motions while movement. Take a ball and roll it towards your friend standing at the other end of the room. What kind of motion do you think the ball would make? It rotates making a rotary motion and moves in a line making a rectilinear motion. The movement of leaves as the wind blows, of bees near a hive, of the lapping of milk by a cat, of blood flowing in our body, movements of planets around the sun, waves on the sea, we can see that there is movement everywhere around us. Thank you.